Hello and welcome to a Secure 9000 e-demo introducing the Secure 9000 report editor. This demo will show how to create a basic personnel report. Click on data views in the navigation pane. Select report from the drop down menu. Click new to open the report editor. Type a name for the report in the name field. You can optionally add a description. Next, Click the Select button for the Report Type field. Select Personnel from the list. For a shortcut, you can type in a P in the Click Here to Filter Data field to display all classes that start with P. When you pick Personnel, the Class and Field selector displays all the fields and categories related to Personnel. If you click Selected Schema, every single field is selected. That is probably too many for your report. So click Selected Schema again to clear the selections, then click Personnel. This displays the personnel fields without selecting any. For this report, we will select a few fields and keep it simple. Click Name, then scroll down to pick Email Address, Partition name and personnel type. To see what your report would look like so far, click the Layout Design tab. This tab shows the four fields you selected and the layout of the headers and footers for each page. Then click the Layout Preview tab to see how the report will look on the page using sample data. Let's go back to the Report tab. We use the default layout style, tabular. Now use the drop down to pick the multi line style. A dialog box lets you know that this will change the layout. Click OK. Now, if we click the layout preview tab, we can see that the fields are stacked and that the field name is included in every record, not just as column titles. The layout design tab shows how the fields are placed in the layout. For a simple report, the tabular style works, so let's reset the layout style back to tabular. Now let's pick a report form. The report form provides some formats for the headers and footers of the report. Remember that the layout design showed areas for headers and footers, but they were blank. Let's pick the advanced report form and then look at the result on the Layout Preview tab. You can see the elements that were added in the header and footer. You can also edit the report form to change these or create a new report form to make your report stand out. So now that we have a basic personnel report, let's see what it looks like with real data. Save and close the report in the report editor. Now display a dynamic view of reports and select the one that we created. If you double click the report, it will display in the content area. You can see that it has a header showing the report name and the footer with page numbers, a username, and a date. Thanks for watching.